Hey guys, this is Ryan with Vapor Honing Technologies. If you guys are watching this video, you're probably the proud new owner of a VH700 or you're potentially looking at buying one. And today we're just gonna sh uh, show you guys how to actually set one of these machines up and how simple it is to get started in your own home. So let's get to it. Now with your VH700, if you guys have the closed loop variant, which is what we'll be focusing on for the first part of the video, um, the top half is going to ship complete and then you're going to have your stand and basins ship separately. These are super simple. You literally just put the basins in and then put the um, cabinet on top of it. The, the main thing that you have to, to consider when you're doing this is that you need to hook the hoses coming off the back of the machine in. And those are, are pretty simple. They hook into this diaphragm pump here. Of course, you're going to have the hose that goes into the basin, which is the, the center hose, and that stays in there. And then you're going to have the water hose, which goes back up into your cabinet. What you're going to want to do whenever you're putting that in is, let me see if I can get a better shot for you guys. When you're hooking this in, push it firmly in, and then there's a clip that you need to make sure snaps in just like that. It's this little clip right here because when you pull it out, and also this is more difficult to do under pressure, whenever you guys are, are cleaning your machines, you might have to uh, use a screwdriver. So this little clip here, you just have to push it down, and that's what releases the hose. So you can put it back in, hold it, and snap it back in. That way it can't come out. Um, your air hose will already be attached, and you'll see a Y on the back of the machine. That's where the air hose will go and it's uh, it's just a push push to connect fitting so it's super simple to put in so this will be the small air hose coming from the basins and you're just going to hook it into the Y there we go and also this is where the water hose coming from the basins will connect to and this is what's going to this is what's going to give you your internal rinse as well as window rinse the next thing that you guys are going to need to hook into your machine is a regulator um, you can hook it into a regulator that you have at home or just run it off of the air compressor that you're using for the machine. But this is actually going to come off of this Y here that leads into your, your main air inlet. Um, this is what's going to control the blasting pressure that you're, you're using inside the machine. So this is how you're going to be able to determine what type of finish you're getting on your parts with the, with the abrasive that you're using. So a regulator is very important. It's super simple to set up. We just use to push to connect fittings here. Um, we do sell regulators, but it does not ship with the machine. Once you guys have the basins fitted and the air lines plumbed in, you guys are actually ready to plug the machine in. And you can begin filling it with water and putting your abrasive of choice inside. Now, filling this machine with water is actually very easy. I would suggest opening the ball valve. And what that's going to do is, as your machine is filling up, it can actually start to overflow into the basins because you're going to have to fill those separately. But that is where you're actually going to fill this machine to, is the ball valve. Um, once it starts trickling over, you can close it off and then fill the basin separately. Make sure this is off whenever you guys are filling it with abrasive. I'll show that again in a minute. Um, but it's a super simple setup process, so let's get to it. Before you guys start filling it with water, though, I should have mentioned to make sure that your back ball valve is closed. If not, that happens and your shop becomes a flooded mess. So we just want to warn you guys, make sure that ball valve is closed and then you can start filling your machine. So as you guys can see, it's starting to overflow in our ball valve so I can turn the water off. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is let it equalize. And the reason that you wanna do that is so, um, like if I was to turn this off now, fill the basins completely up, and then turn it back on, there's a potential that it could drain more uh, than your basins actually have the capacity to hold. So it's a good idea to just let this drain all the way. As this is filling up, of course, it's going to reach the overflow on the top basin, and that's going to begin to fill the bottom basin. You're going to want to make sure that after this is equalized, you get the, the water level to the top, and in the bottom lip basin, you're going to want to leave it about two inches from the top. Now, if you guys have an open loop variant of the VA700, it's a very similar setup process. Um, again, you're just gonna wanna hook in your regulator 
on the back. You will not have the Y for the closed loop, closed loop hookup, um, so just directly plumb that in. Additionally, when you're filling this guy up with water, make sure your front ball valve is closed. That's where the drain is on this machine. This machine will ship with a garden hose fitting. That way you guys can just hook in your, your water hose into your shop, wherever that may be, and get up and running pretty quick. When you're draining this machine off, if it is on the tabletop, uh, the easiest thing to do is just put a five gallon bucket under, underneath the drain and let that, that drain off. Um, even if you're not using the internal rinse, there will be a little bit of water that's used just from the window rinse, which is a super nice feature on a cabinet this size. It's something that our micro doesn't have and it's something that we really wanted to implement because it makes it so much easier to see when you guys are blasting. But like I said, this machine is very easy to set up. All that you have to do to actually get started blasting with the, uh, the closed loop setup that we have here is add your media in. And the way that you're gonna do that is after you've added in the water. Only add in media after you've added in the water because if you don't, it will actually pack in the bottom. It can cause issues with your pump. So once you've added the water, um, weigh out the correct amount of abrasive. All of these specs will be on the website and um, we can actually ship you guys the, the proper amount to put in here. But you're just gonna cut the bag open and literally dump it directly into the machine. And then you're ready to get started blasting. It's that simple. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can call us at 828-202-5563. We do have troubleshooting on staff just to help you guys out. And if you guys are ready to actually get started and get one of these awesome machines in your shop today, you guys can call us at 828-202-5563. I hope this was helpful and I hope you have a great day. Peace.